for today demo, I will show you uh, my sample application for the Spring Boot Cloud Configuration Server integrated with console to provide the uh, information to the microservices client. Uh, so my approach for this demo is that uh, using uh, console integration with a Spring Cloud configuration server, we can have to connect to the console and update the credential venue from there and put to the share file so that from the share file, the Spring Cloud configuration server can provide the information to microservices client. So this is the first approach. Uh, I am using the console provider container as a sidecar. So the sidecar here will try to connect to a console us using the native authentication methods. And after that, it will retrieve the information from console and update to the property file that is sharing to the main container, a container using the share volume. And from the main container here, it will uh, use the property file for its uh, configuration service and provide the information to the client. My second approach is here. Uh, I also have in my demo is that uh, for this approach, I don't use the sidecar container. And besides, uh, instead of that, I will use the scheduler to uh, connect to the console. Actually, the scheduler will use the console plugin, the Spring Boot console Spring Boot plugin to connect to the console. And from that, it can uh, receive the information and update to the property file directly. So with this, this approach, we don't need to have the sidecar container running with the uh, main application. Right? So let me show you what I have in my demo environment. So this is my console. Uh, system. I have some of the uh, secret information here uh, for testing. I have the uh, one set of the uh, secrets for the host one and the other set for the host two for my two use cases. So yeah, uh, you can see here, right? For example, for the host one, I have the venue of the host one. As you can see here, the uh, my uh, my dot demo dot local. Uh, the username, uh, the password will be cybrack1 and the user will be uh, city app right and the second uh, set here the host will be test.mysql.demo.knocker the username will be uh, city app as well the same and the password here will be something like uh, here i will let me change to something else save it okay. let me change the other password to something else uh, one, 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 one. yep so that is for my console so for this demo my application is running on OpenShift container platform and you can see here i have one of the port is running let me delete it to, get it, to make it reload and from here you can see when it run right you can see the detail of the log file it is running and when it's running uh, for my first approach right I will have the sidecar container running together with it and this sidecar container will connect to the console container every 30 seconds to update the information. So you can see from here, right? It will do the authentication using uh, the WT token and check for the content of the uh, secret from the parameters and update to the file, right? So using this method, you can see uh, uh, the file will be shared to the client uh, to the uh, configuration server and uh, it will have the information to to do its job right so uh, here is my sample test right let me check for the information so i will use the uh, postman to send the request to the configuration server using this uh, url right so when i send 
the request you can see now uh, I get the detail of the secret from uh, the authentication server so actually this this information uh, is uh, um, retrieved from uh, console right uh, my second method here I also implement on the same environment which is in the main application so if you look at the main application here right I also have the, the other process to update the uh, uh, the venues of secret that's the application get from console and put it to the one of the property file here so when i go to the port main and check for the console secret right i also get the content of the the second um, group of secret here right uh, that is uh, how it works with the second approach so let me try to change the content of the one of the password here right and check for secret change to something like uh, 99999 and save it and now let me refresh back to the first approach right and send it now it can it will be changed update to the new values of secret for demo purpose i didn't add any security layers or authentication method between clan and configuration servers so you can see they have some of the risk there uh, such as uh, data address or authentication uh, from clan in production environment we will suggest and recommend you to add in those kind of security protection in your environment but that will be a, another topic to discuss for now thank you very much